tripartite. The term tripartite refers to something that is divided into three parts or has three distinct components. It is derived from the Latin word tripartitis, which means divided into three parts. This concept of tripartite division can be found in various aspects of the English language, including grammar, literature, and politics. In grammar, tripartite structures are often used to classify different types of words or sentences. For example, in English, sentences can be categorized into three types declarative, interrogative, and imperative. 1. Declarative sentences. These are statements that provide information or express an opinion. They end with a period. Example, the sun is shining. 2. Interrogative sentences. These are questions that seek information. They end with a question mark. Example, are you going to the party? 3. Imperative sentences. These are commands or requests. They can end with a period or an exclamation mark. Example, please close the door. In literature, tripartite structures are often used to organize ideas or narratives into three distinct parts. This can create a sense of balance and completeness. For instance, in Shakespeare's play, Macbeth, the plot is structured into three acts. The rise of Macbeth, the climax of his actions, and the resolution of the story. In politics, tripartite systems refer to the division of power among three branches or entities. This separation of powers ensures a system of checks and balances. One famous example of a tripartite political system is found in the United States, where power is divided between the executive, legislative, and judicial branches. To summarize, the term tripartite signifies a division into three parts. It can be seen in grammar through the classification of sentences, in literature through the organization of ideas, and in politics through the separation of powers. Understanding the concept of tripartite can help in comprehending the structure and organization of various aspects of the English language.